This is what you might have missed on BCSN Sports Nightly. Toledo Rockets senior Nathan Booth honored with an invitation to compete in the Reese's 2016 Division I All-Star Game during the Final Four weekend in Houston. The All-Max selection Booth holds the Rockets school record for blocks, top 10 in career points for the Rockets as well. What a career he has had. 20 of the nation's most outstanding collegiate seniors will take to the court at NRG Stadium on April 1st. Nathan Booth selected by the National Association of Basketball College Coaches to compete, Booth sat down with our very own Tom Cole. Tom, take it away. I know you're a total team guy. You don't really, numbers are not what you're about. But, but for the sake of this interview, you know, 19.1 points a game uh, this year, nine rebounds, uh, 3.4 blocks a game. You're playing 31 minutes. Uh, and you now hold the all-time block uh, record in the oh, history yeah. of the University of Toledo. You know how many great big men have played for the, the University oh, wow. of Toledo? That record is... It, you know, you should feel really proud about that. Your metamorphosis from last year to this year with these kind of numbers is incredible. Tell me about how you've made this big jump. I had a lot of help from Kelso, assistant coach. Coach Kelso, he's a big man coach. They recruited me also, and then also Seth Evans, the new grad assistant. He came in new last summer. Yeah. And he, he started off dieting, working out all the time, like, all right, I'm going to get with him. And he got me on and started eating healthy, and then we just – Got in the gym every single day, twice a day, and just between him and Kelso, just evolving everything, moving out, stepping out, shoot the three, off the dribble, just getting better shape than I've been in the past few years. But what even intrigued me more is Coach Kelso, your big man coach, along with Coach K, who's an incredible coach, obviously, Coach Kowalczyk, saw you playing AAU ball. But the guy he saw playing AAU ball, tell the folks the guy that he saw playing AAU. A little different, about 290, <laughs> 290. slow, big white guy yeah, that yeah. could shoot the mid-range yeah. and throw an outlet pass. And they saw that I had the feel of the game, so that's what they yeah. kind of started recruiting me. So Nathan, you got to help me out now from a guy who's, you know, one, one piece of dry toast off of 420 here. Uh, <laughs> How did you lose that weight? Because people want, you know, everybody wants to know how to lose weight. Uh, you look great. How did you do it? I uh, really just cut out fast food. Okay. The fourth meal runs, the Taco Bell with the friend. <laughs> right. Didn't help too much. And then I just ran more than I ever have to get okay. in shape and stuff. And yeah. really just, well, really the weight, the food I ate yeah. changed that and instantly was losing weight. You come from an athletic family. Um, you were the youngest, and my theory on it, I truly believe this because my brother was the best athlete in our family. We had a lot of kids, and he always got dragged to the up games. In other words, he, he was in high school, he was playing against college kids. When he was in grade school, he was playing against high school kids. Did the same thing happen to you? Yeah, my brother always took me along when he went to open gyms. Sometimes he wouldn't let me play, sometimes he would. Yeah. But I was, he was always the one that kind of beating down on yeah. me. <laughs> Make me tough. The big brother beat down. And I would always try to compete with him, but I never could. Yeah, yeah. But it made you a better player quicker. Yeah. It, it kind of a, accelerates your uh, your development. You know, Nathan, you have an incredible ability to do for a big man to be able to come out in the arc. I think you're shooting 372 percent from uh, from three point, which is great for a big man. Uh, you can shoot it you, you, when they run out at you. You can get it off. They can't get your shot. You know they, they can't. You got a quick release. It's up over the top. You're six nine. They're not going to get it. They can't even any run out. They're not going to get it. So you know you're going to get that shot basically when you want it. And then you go in down to the low block. And uh, I, I called your BGUT game. And man, you've got a sweet little baby hook this way and a sweet little baby hook that way. A drop step move down low. Which way would you rather play? Would you rather be in the low block operating, or if you had your druthers, you'd stand outside and fire a few? Oh, uh, probably the low block, higher okay. percentage and a little more comfortable there. Yeah, now. yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, other thing I noticed about your game, Nathan, is you pass so well. That's court vision. You've got really good court vision. How'd you develop that? I, was, I just had a feel for the game growing up, and passing was always one of my stronger things I did. And assistant coach Kelso, he, he was a big man that could shoot in college. He was D3, yeah. player of the year, all that. He lets me know. About he, he lets you know a little <laughs> bit about his game? Yeah. Did you guys ever get out on the floor, you and he, and start going at uh, it? He used bit? to play when I was a freshman. Yeah. He, he still had it. He, 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 started, school, he schooled you a little he bit? He started getting old now, but yeah, you guys little, that think he's still young. but You could take him much. now. Yeah. But not as a freshman, but now. A freshman, he gave me some buckets here and there. Yeah, he taught you a couple, uh, <laughs> taught you a couple lessons. No, we always watch film, and he would be like, all right, if they're going to run a double from here, yeah. this is the man that's always going to be open and just kind of just keep – 
pushing that in my head and now it's yeah because there's no hesitation. I mean, mm -hmm. when the double comes to you, it's boom. You know, it's in and out of make your hands. Make the simple pass where everyone yeah. tries to make the most difficult. Right, 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 right. What usually, Nathan, you know, when your senior year is coming, winding down, first of all, it normally goes fast. It normally is an eye blink. Has it been that way for you? Yeah, I feel like we're still in the beginning of the season. Right. And, and what's it, what are going to be some of your emotions when you're done for the last time playing, uh, playing for the University of Toledo? What, what, what will that mean to you emotionally? I'm going to be shocked because it went by so fast, but I had a great time here. The support, the people I met, the connections I'm going to have the rest of my life is something I'm not going to forget. Um, you know, Nathan, a lot of young people watch you. They come to the games and they watch you and they look up to you. You know, literally, because you're 6'9", but <laughs> I still think you're 6'10", but, but you told me 6'9". But uh, do you like that? Do you like that? the kind of being a role model for young kids? Hey, give me a, give me a little feedback on that. Yeah, because I, have, I always looked up to my older brother right. and did kind of what he did. Right. And be a, he was a good role model for me. I always did the right thing. And just trying to, it's good to have little kids look up to you and know that you're on the right path. And they look at someone that's going on the right path instead of going down the wrong path. Well, Nathan Booth talking about the right path uh, on the court, off the court. You're a guy that uh, has made a difference at this university in the classroom and on the court. and. Uh, we couldn't be more proud of you and uh, certainly uh, wish you the best. And uh, who knows, maybe uh, a seat next to Coach <laughs> K with a clipboard on timeouts and, uh, and the big man's drawing up a play. Yeah. Is it possible? I hope so. Be sure to watch Sports Nightly weeknights at 1030 on BCSN and follow us on Twitter at Sports underscore Nightly.